Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 14 third-party app widgets. I know a lot of people are interested about those widgets because they have iOS 14 on their device and they probably are looking to find any third-party app widgets that they can put on the home screen of their device. So in this video, I will show you guys everything that you need to know regarding the new iOS 14 third-party app widgets. Of course, the iOS 14 home screen widgets are one of the biggest features to come to iOS in quite a few years. And I know a lot of people are excited about that and can't wait to have third party app widgets on the home screen of their iOS 14 device. So here's a screenshot of how they could look like. Now at the top, we have the stock clock widget. This will come to iOS 14 probably in the next few betas. And right here, we have the widget of the Twitter app, which was shown on Apple's presentation of the home screen widgets on WWC 2020. Now you can see right here, the Twitter widget displays like a tweet there. Probably it will show you like current tweets or maybe top tweets on this widget. So what you need to know is that the home screen widgets of iOS 14 are read only. So they will only show you different informations and you cannot actually interact with them. So here's what I'm talking about. On the home screen here, I have a few widgets. Here I have the notes widget. Now I cannot like tap to edit any of these notes from here or even delete a note or something like that. If I just go ahead, tap on one of them, it will just take me directly to the notes app. And this is different from the older widgets that we had on iOS 13 and older. So here I have one of them. You can see right here on the widget, I will be able to actually interact and add info. So if I tap right there, you can see it shows me the keyboard and I can add right there a note or I can add something to the list. And you can see here, I have the list. If I'm done with something, I can just tap on it and remove it from the list. This is the bad, like the downside of the iOS 14 home screen widgets. It won't in allow you to interact with them. You will only be able to read information. And anytime you tap on them, it will just take you right back to the app to which the widget belongs. So you can see right here, this one from Twitter is pretty cool, but probably once you tap on it, it will just directly take you to the Twitter app and won't allow you like to compose the tweet from there or do anything else, just read only. But when can you expect iOS 14 widgets to come to your device? iOS 14 has been released for like a month now to the devs and they have their hands on it and probably have created some really amazing widgets for the home screen of your iOS 14 device. But don't expect them to be released before the public release of iOS 14. Devs cannot release app updates for versions that are not public. So you will have to wait for the home screen widget, third party home screen widgets to be released until probably late September. That's the date, of course, when we expect the iOS 14 to be released to the public. Now, if you want to see more information on that, make sure you check out the video in the card right below. So basically, mid to late September will be the day that Apple will release iOS 14 to the public. And then you should see app updates containing these awesome home screen widgets. Probably there will be some really, really beautiful one. And I'm really excited to see them. Even though, as I said, the downside is that you won't be able to like to interact with them put information directly through them, but just they read only and you will only be able to display like different information on the home screen of your device. So that's basically it for this video, guys. This is everything that you need to know about third party app widgets for the home screen of your iOS 14 device. So you will have to wait until late September or whenever Apple releases iOS 14 to the public to see the first widgets coming to your iOS 14 device. So that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like if you did. Also, don't forget to comment and subscribe for more videos. And I will see you guys on the next one.